Today's story is the magic school bus sleeps for the winter. It's fun to be in Miss Frizzle's class. Miss Frizzle's dresses are funny. Her shoes are funny too. She takes us on trips in a magic school bus. Our bus has powers, magic powers. We are learning about how wild animals live in the winter. We are getting our room ready for visitors night. My grandma's coming. My mom and dad will be here too. Some animals hibernate in the winter, says Phoebe. Other animals stay awake, said Ralphie. Miss Frizzle gets an idea. Let's take a trip. During hibernation, animals sleep for months. They breathe very slowly. Their hearts beat slowly. They have less body heat. In no time, we are riding in the magic school bus. Miss Frizzle drives north up to the big park. Look, Arnold, this park is full of wild animals. Miss Frizzle's trips are always wild. There's a black bear, said Phoebe. There's another one, says Ralphie. Are black bears black? Most of them are black, but some are brown, reddish, or even blonde. People must have named us a long time ago, before they knew about the colors. Then the bus starts shaking. It makes a funny sound. It says, grrrr. Do most buses growl? I don't think so. The bus has changed. Now it is the magic school bear. I can't believe it. I can bear it. The real bear eats some nuts. The bus bear eats nuts too. Listen to all that crunching. It's driving me nuts. The real bear catches a fish and eats it. The bus bear does too. The real bear eats some honey. It even eats some bees. Our bear does too. It's getting messy in here. A snowflake falls. Then more comes down. The bears find a cave. This morning it was fall. Now winter's here. Things go fast on Miss Frizzle's trips. Bears need to get fat on the fall. They will live off their fat all over the winter. The bears make nests out of dry leaves. Why are we moving so slowly? Did the bus bear just snore? It won't be going anywhere soon. Some animals like frogs and snakes hibernate because they will die from the cold. Other animals like bears cannot find enough food in winter. The bears sleep and sleep, but we are not sleepy. Let's go outside, whispered the frizz. Shh. Don't wake the bears. Miss Frizzle opened her bags. She gave us some glasses. I already had glasses. Some animals can find food in winter. Deer eats twigs. Rabbits eat twigs, bark, and leaves. Foxes hunt rabbits. We grow more fur to keep warm. We stay awake. There are magic glasses. Now we can see animals hibernated under the ground. We can see animals in logs and caves, too. These animals will sleep all winter. Why can I stay in bed all winter? We see animals under a lake. Then we see animals on land. One is a big cat, a puma. The others are wolves. Water animals hibernate, too. These animals are hunters. We need help, fast. Wild hunters don't hurt people unless the people gets too close. I think we're too close. Then we hear a growl. It's the magic school bear. The bus saves us. We get back to the cave, something has happened. It's amazing, look. Two baby bears were born. They are very small and they don't have fur yet. Awake or sleep. Bears can wake up for a short time, but even then they'll still have a sleep. And that can wake is called a light hibernator. 
the bears are sleepy. We are too. Soon we all fast asleep. I can barely keep my eyes open. When we wake up, it is spring. The bears are outside. The baby bears play. The mother finds food. The cubs are big now. My book says bear cubs grow fast. Miss Frizzle drives back to school. When we get there, it is fall again. And the bus is a bus again. Hurry! We have to get ready for visitors' night. The visitors love our room. They love Miss Frizzle's dress, too. Does Miss Frizzle bug you? No, but her dress does.